Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek. I'm at Gen Con 2016, sitting down with Tom Cleaver from, well, with his game, <laughs> Valley of the King's Lost Rights, which is being published by AEG. And this is a part of the Valley of the King series. That's correct. There are three games in the series. This one was just released yesterday. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> So what are we trying to do in Valley of the King's Last Rites? Okay, Valley of the King's Last Rites, for those of you who have already learned how to play the first two versions, this is exactly the same. <laughs> uh, the end. <laughs> in as much as the rules are the same, but the cards are all different. Um, I've introduced a totally new set of starter cards, for example. Everybody starts with ten cards, and these starter cards are actually useful. <laughs> they do some useful things, unlike other uh, deck building games I could mention. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, for example, here the embalmer allows you to sacrifice a card in the pyramid or in your hand. And of course, the, thematically, this is all about preparing the pharaoh for his burial and gathering all the things so that we're going to bury with him. And yes. Now, this particular theme of this game is about the people who help you prepare for your death. The embalmer, the medjay who guards your tomb, the menials who help build the tomb, uh, the astrologer who... Uh, helps you pick the appropriate site for your tool. Huh. I was gonna say, it's a good thing we haven't died yet. That uh -huh. we, we can be the beneficiaries of all this information. Yes. So these people <laughs> aren't actually buried with you, yeah. uh, but they're helping you get there. So for those who haven't done Valley of the Kings, why don't you just go over real fast kind of what a turn would look like or feel like. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, you've got a cash value on these cards, so one, two, three, four, five. The, these cards could be used to buy, for example, the Brick Mason. And the Brick Mason would go, would go into your discard pile. And that's all you can do, because you spent all your money. But these will fall down, the pyramid crumbles. Because you're only allowed to buy cards from the base of the pyramid. That's the same in all three games. Right. And then, your turn's over, you discard and draw back up to five cards again. And then we would rebuild the pyramid out to mm -hmm. its former glory. Yeah. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. uh, what determines who wins? Okay, it's a victory point game, but only what you have stored in your tomb is going to score for you. You're, after all, you are nobility of Egypt, and you know that when you die, you can take it with you. So, at the end of the game, everybody dies and everybody <laughs> scores. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be one of the, the best ending statements, I think, for uh, what, thus the game ends, everyone dies. <laughs> well, Tom, I think that gives us a nice little flavor of what to expect, yeah. both for those who maybe who haven't checked out Valley of the Kings before, um, but this particular flavor, which is uh, Lost Last Rites, it is a mighty game in a little box. You want That's to check right. it out? And um, I appreciate you for letting us take a look. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Beth. I appreciated being interviewed by such a lovely girl. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and if you guys want to check this out, this is again published by AEG. Thank you so much.